All right, what is up guys? It is Robert of Gaming with me, and I know what you're thinking. You gotta shave that beard. I agree, I was going to shave it, but I didn't. Oh, oh, you're not thinking that. You're thinking that you don't believe this title. That I don't actually have a world record in a video game, a world record speedrun? Well, I actually do. And this actually came from an idea from Jaden Animation. So YouTuber that I'm sure anyone that is watching this probably knows. Jaden Animation just did her own video doing a speedrun on Cooking Mama 2. And I was like, oh my god, that makes sense. There's got to be a game out there that doesn't really have a big speedrun community that I could kind of go in and see if I could get a world record for myself. And... I thought it'd be fun because speedrunning is is an interesting part of the gaming community. Speedrunning is literally all about that, trying to beat a game in the fastest time possible. There are also different rules. There's different type of ones, 100% completions, any percent completions, and it's all real damn interesting. I, I've never been that big into speedrunning, so that's why I wanted to see for myself as to how it is. The speedrunning community is a big part of the gaming community. In fact, there's a whole thing called GDQ, which I know you probably know, Games Done Quick. Games Done Quick is a whole big fundraiser where a bunch of speedrunners come together and they speedrun their favorite games and they raise charity money for it. It's amazing. This whole Games Done Quick, no joke, raised over $27 million in charity since 2010. What the fuck? I actually didn't even know that. I had to look that up. I was like, wait, what? I, I That's insane. Like, that's an insane number. $27 million every year they get millions of dollars to raise for charity. This is all from the art of speedrunning. There's always a ton of streams doing their own games and just picking out their favorite games and just trying to speedrun. Whether you get the world record or not, you hopefully had fun speedrunning. And there's always some ways people tackle speedrunning. Many games actually have a ton of glitches that you could actually kind of break with and able to skip entire sections of a game. I have no clue how people find this out. This always amazes me. There's so many times where I just see these speedruns where I'm like, how the fuck did they actually manage to do that? There's a lot of times where our developers will actually react to speedruns and it's just so funny because I'm sure they're like, oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Because they literally their game is just being broken down. Although that's not to say every speedrun is just trying to find exploits and ways to cut corners. But there are plenty of ones that actually don't do that. And I generally find it really interesting and it's something that I feel like I'd never be able to do. I would never be able to get a speedrun on something because games like the 3D Mario games, those all have tons of tons of speedruns. In fact, check this out. This is speedrun.com. This is like the official website for speedruns. You can look up all the games you want here and see what has a speedrun and what doesn't. People submit speedruns to this website and officially will be crowned world record or whatever. If we just see right here, FB Marcel just got today clocked that uh, he got an hour, one minute and 33 seconds in Meta Nightmare for Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. And that landed him in 46th place. So uh, an hour doesn't sound like a long time, but somehow still got 46th place. And this is what I'm so talking about. So you have Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland. And from here, you can see the any percent, 100% meta nightmare miscellaneous. So no copy abilities to 200%. Now these are where the other categories come in. There's going to be a bunch of people that want to do some specific category to speed run. So for instance, any percent is literally just, hey, beat the game as fast as you can with any percent finishing. 100% is literally what it means. You have to 100% the game in the fastest way possible. This is where our new boy was at. He was in 46th place. But let's see. So first place was uh, Scrub Busta at 29 minutes and 6 seconds. And if we go find our guy at 46th place, there he is, FB Marshall. And that's for only one section of one Kirby game. There are so many games out of this world, which is just insane how many people just attempt speedruns. And so as great as that, if you type in, you could find out all the titles. So let's look at the original Super Mario Brothers and see how fast any percent. You could literally see the number one in the world, world record for any percent, is 4 minutes, 55 seconds, 430 milliseconds. Once everyone starts getting so close, they have to start including milliseconds, which is pretty damn incredible. So this guy from 11 months ago, Cosmic, I'm sure is pretty pissed. He's at second place. 
and only by a few milliseconds, like 200 milliseconds, which is really crazy. And that's why something like this website is so damn cool because you could watch everyone's speedrun. And you have to because you can't just say, hey, yeah, I got three minutes in this game. It's like, uh, do you have proof? You have to record it and there's like a universal way on how to record speedruns. So that goes to my world record speedrun. Let's talk about it. Before I said the game, I had to find a game that didn't really have any speedruns so I could at least get the world record. So I could at least push maybe one person to try that game too. At first, I wanted to do Rabbids Go Home, because uh, I thought there's no way there's going to be some speedrun for Rabbids Go Home, right? So Rabbids Go Home does indeed have some speedruns, and you can see that any percent, literally there's five of them. And then again over here, you can see you can uh, use his cheats, eight minutes, holy shit, I guess there's some cheats that, again, somehow speedrunners just find these exploits that you would never find otherwise, and then manage to beat the game in, in eight minutes, a whole game in eight minutes. Rabbits go home. What? If you don't use cheats, there's still uh, about looks like six people that literally have done it in three hours or under. If you go on the website how long to beat, which is basically how long does it take to beat a certain game, people love to clock in how long it takes. The average time to beat Rabbits go home is 11 hours. And somehow people get it in two hours, three hours. It's crazy. After looking up many different games, I finally found one that was perfect for me. And that game was... Tear Away Unfolded, if I could show without the glare. There you go, Tear Away Unfolded for the PlayStation 4. If we go on Tear Away Unfolded for speedrun.com, you'll see someone actually is already there on New Game Plus. Now, once I saw this, I was a little bit worried because I saw New Game Plus, I'm like, well, shit. New Game Plus is all about, you know, a second playthrough of a game with your abilities that you had from the last one. And you just play through there. And this guy managed to get it in 2 hours and 15 minutes and 11 seconds. But then I saw the any percent was empty. So was the 100%, but I wasn't going to 100% the game. <laughs> but at any percent, I could try to finish the game as fast as I can. Especially if it's empty. Hells yeah, I'm going to get the world record automatically. But I wanted to at least really try and see how fast I could get it done. I wanted to wait until the moderators approved it. But it is official. I officially have the world record speedrun of an any percent speedrun of Tearaway Unfolded. At... 4 hours, 4 minutes, and 13 seconds. Now I gotta say, I think that's pretty fast. <laughs> if you click on my submission, you can literally see my any percent speed run. And fuck it, let's check it out man. Let's check it out. Tear away unfolded any percent speed run. So as you can see, this is the setup of a speed run. On the side, you got the levels written down and every time you get to a certain level, you, you press something on your keyboard so you could say you're on the next level. Admittedly, it's not quite four hours and four minutes. It's actually a little bit shorter by a few seconds. Obviously, I really wanted to try to go as fast as I can. Now, let's go back to how long to beat. How long does it take to normally beat on average Tearaway Unfolded? How much faster did I, did I get? On average, Tearaway Unfolded takes eight and a half hours to beat the main story, which is... What? I, that's, a, that's how long I thought it was going to take me to actually finish. Even Rush, the, the fastest someone do, did a Rush is 6 hours and 50 minutes. That blows my mind, honestly. It was literally only this year when I actually finished Tearaway Unfolded for the first time. And it was actually through my series Back of the Backlog, which hey, if you want to see me talk about this game and dive really deep into the details, go check that out. When speedrunning through a game, I literally essentially saw nothing. <laughs> I just kept walking straight and I ignored everything essentially what I love about the game. And so it comes with a different perspective because when I was speedrunning this game, I was like, what's the point? <laughs> I feel like I can't, I'm literally just passing by everything. You know, all the great details, all the great characters that you get to talk to, the funny dialogue, doing little side missions, doing little side quests, designing the characters. All that is essentially gone when you're just trying to go as fast as you can. And it was upsetting to me why would anyone do this put themselves through this torture of of not being able to experience the glory that is tear away unfolded but then i have to remind myself well i already played the game i played the game fully you know as i was going through the many different levels i was going uh, i feel pretty fast and then i realized i was going to finish the game way sooner than i thought so technically the game if you literally just blast it through it it is less than five hours but the odds of you getting there are so low because you're not meant to do that. <laughs> and obviously speedrunning is all about that. You're not really 
meant to just run through the whole game and how would you if you never played the game before but i recently played the game so everything was fresh still in my mind spoilers for tearaway unfolded but at the end so i should have stopped at around 40355 but i kept it running because i wasn't too sure where you actually are supposed to stop the timer and then i remember that this whole thing is essentially a cutscene, so it doesn't count but I stop it at 13 or whatever. I was like, all right, all right, I'll just stop it there. <laughs> no one has ever done an any percent speed run for Terraway Unfolded, so I could have just kind of done whatever I wanted. And I generally thought it was going to take me about eight hours. I planned ahead of time. I was like, all right, well, I'll finish this around like two o'clock and I'll be all good. And then all of a sudden I finished at like 10 and I was like, holy shit, I went pretty fast, I feel. And it's because I literally just did not stop running. I just kept going, going, going. I ignored everybody. I ignored all the side stuff. And I just wanted to get to that finish line. I had to immerse myself and become a speedrunner. And I think I did a pretty good job, to be honest, you know? Then, as I was saying, why would anyone put themselves through this? As I actually saw that clock, that timer that said 404, I looked at that time and I thought, you know, I could do better than that. If I just cleaned up my deaths, I died a decent amount of times, I fell off, you know, causing me to take even longer, I could totally bring this under 4 hours. I could end up having a 3 hour and 50 something minute run, I think for sure. And that's exactly why people love it. It's that addictive nature of knowing you could one up yourself and, and I understand, you know, I totally get it. Obviously, I understood beforehand, but actually doing my own speedrun made me understand firsthand what makes speedrunning so exciting for people and why I, I, I now have even more respect for speedrunners, honestly. Will I go out and try to get a faster time in Terraway Unfolded? I might. I think that could be a good live stream one day. But in the end of the day, for the most part, I am now a retired speedrunner. And I highly suggest if you want to somehow try to beat my Tearaway Unfolded speedrun, it's probably pretty easy to do so. I definitely know it's definitely easy to do so. Like I said, there's plenty of times if you just don't die, that alone will let you. But I also did do some side stuff in this playthrough. I think I did one or two little side things that I didn't have to do that I kind of forgot. <laughs> so I ended up making the time longer when it really didn't need to be. If you want to learn more about Tearaway Unfolded in general, check out my back of the backlog on it. It's a fantastic game. I really do enjoy it. And obviously is underplayed as hell. If the fact, one, it sold bad. And it's a first party Sony game that I, I have the world record in. That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> There's no reason I should have a world record speedrun in a first party Sony game that came out five years ago. I should not. There's no way. But unfortunately, the game sold that poor that I do. I think that'll be it for today. Can you beat my Tearaway Unfolded speedrun? Like I said, I think you can. And I think I want to go back and try to get a definitive speedrun and try to get one more time. Like I said, speedrunning in games is really damn crazy. No one's going to suggest you to speedrun something on your first playthrough. You got to play it at least once to really get a handle of it and understand the levels and understand its mechanics. But that's what's great you know you play through a game and then you're like i could do this even faster eventually you become really engrossed into that game and so you get that perfect time the speedrunner community is definitely really cool and i and i'm so glad that i'm able to be a part of it for this short moment and at least for forever i will still be a part of the leaderboard for tearaway unfolded for now and probably the foreseeable future i am the world record holder for the any percent speedrun for tearaway unfolded if you want to go and watch my Tearaway Unfolded speedrun, I'll link it in the description. And I'll also link the back of the backlog of Tearaway Unfolded so you can see, again, more details on what the game actually is. But I'm super happy I was able to do this. It's a different way to game, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's really damn cool. Like I said, the community is damn awesome. And again, huge shout out to uh, already a massive channel. But hey, <laughs> Jaded Animations, if you've never seen Jaded, Jaded Animations, I'll link that into it below. But I'm sure you have heard of her. Um... It was a cool idea, you know, doing Cooking Mama 2, you know. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll try to find a game that I really enjoy that uh, doesn't have really any speedruns. And that's Tearaway Unfolded. And, uh, but now it does, Tearaway. Good job, Tearaway Unfolded. You got one speedrun for me for the any percent, but you do also have the 100%. I mean, the uh, new game plus. But all right, I'll see you guys next time. 
Have you ever speed run a game? Do you have? Do you hold a world record speed run? Are you on speed, speedrun.com? Did you actually submit something? Did you have some video proof? Let me know how this works. Maybe you got some history in speed running. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, so that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I thought this would be a cool video, and I, like I said, I'm really glad I was able to do this. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, I have the world record speed run to tear it unfolded. It's pretty fucking cool to say. Eventually, I'll be number two, probably. Maybe this will inspire you to buy Terry Unfolded. It's a fantastic game. Go pick it up. But also, go watch my back of the backlog on it so you can see more details on it. <laughs> Alright. Peace out. I know that shit ain't going far. I wish I had no insecurities. I wish I had more empathy. I wish I cared more about my own goddamn family. I hate the fact I cry more to a CGI ape. More than when I see my own dad and his fucking rape. It's fucked up. Yes, I know. But it's my feelings. I'm